Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about walking. One of the things we want to do as we're getting ready for summer is most of us would like to lose a little more body fat. We'd like to lean up a little bit. So one of the best ways to do that is actually walking. Sometimes those of us who are really driven, we think that everything needs to be extremely difficult and brutal in order to get the results that we want. And for some people that may be the case. If you're a high level athlete, you've got to push farther than what you normally push in order to get your body to burn more so you can get leaner. But for most of us, we can just add, uh, you know, 5,000 steps a day in order to burn a couple hundred extra calories to put you in a deficit. And if you don't know, you have to burn a few more calories than you consume in order to be in a deficit. So the basics, if I made it real simple, without going into the whole nutrition side, is you have to burn 3,500 calories more than you eat in order to lose one pound. So if you did simple math, in a week, if you wanted to lose a pound, you've got to burn 500 calories more than you consume every day for seven days to lose one pound of body fat. That's a lot, 500 calories. That's actually pretty extreme to do that per day. That's why it's so hard and it takes so long to lose body fat. But if I were to give you a simple little challenge, I would say figure out how many steps you walk in a day. This is not an Apple Watch, but you could use an Apple Watch. This is one of those cheap watches on Amazon. I think it cost me 30 to 40 bucks, somewhere in there. It tracks your steps. It'd be good for you to get one or a pedometer that you can put on your belt. You wear that for a week and see how many steps you do on an average day. As you work yourself through that, by the end of a week, you'll figure out how many steps you do per day. And then in the next week, try and add 5,000 steps per day. I know that 5,000 sounds like a lot, but really it's a little more walking in the morning, a little more walking during the day, a little more walking in the evening. It's not very much. You don't necessarily have to go out and walk for 30 minutes. You can actually sneak in 5,000. Over time, you can even get in some more and you can speed up your results a little bit. Walking benefits a lot of things uh, in your health. It's really good for posture. It's really good for reducing blood pressure. It actually has been known to help uh, fight off cataracts. It's got a lot of benefits other than just calorie burning and helping you get lean. Burning body fat requires a slightly elevated heart rate, but it shouldn't be so difficult that you can't carry on a conversation. It should be slightly elevated, but you can still talk. Anyway, I would encourage you guys to go out Try and figure out how many steps you get in on an average day, and then figure out if you can sneak in an extra 5,000 over the next week or two and see if you notice a difference. Anyway, it's that summertime, so it is time for you to start thinking about if you want to look better, how you get there. Anyway, have a good time with it, guys. We'll catch you out on the road while we're sneaking in all of our extra steps. See you next time.